Hi all, let's talk about full load versus incremental load in SSIS. So this is one of the important concept in SSIS which will help us to load the data into the destinations. So these two are very important full load and incremental load. Again, this full load and incremental load depend on the requirement. It purely depends on the business data, business requirements. First of all, what is a full load? Let us say, so here my OLTP is a source, staging is a intermediate environment for me and data warehouse is a final, in, final uh, system for us. So there are some scenarios, so where I need to refresh the staging every time. So there is a table, uh, commission table. So commission table contains only 10 records at any point of time. So that time, so I need to load the commission table from OLTP to staging, staging to data warehouse. Okay. So that commission table varies day to day. So I need to maintain the recent commissions only. I don't need the history of the old commissions also. So that time better to go with a full load. So when I say full load, so in the staging and data warehouse, I will be truncating the commission table and I will be loading that table every time freshly so that I will be having a up to date record when I compare with a OLTP or source database. So let me go to incremental table. So there is a, a table, uh, customers table. So today in the OLTP I have so 1 million customers. So I loaded that 1 million customers into the staging table again from staging to data warehouse. So tomorrow when I go for a next run, so I'll be getting some extra new customers, some uh, 200 new customers I'm getting. So when I say incremental load, so I'll be loading only 200 values from OLTP to staging again from staging to so data warehouse by applying some business rules. So that scenario is going to call it as an incremental load. Again, so there are two scenarios where I need to do some time to incremental load to staging and the incremental load to data warehouse from staging. But there are some scenarios. So I'll be loading every time full load in the staging and I'll be loading incremental load to the data warehouse. Again, it purely depends on the so business data and the business requirements. So, so and when you go with the incremental load, that's for sure you will be getting the good performance when I compare with a full load. So that is the reason why incremental load is suitable for all the ETL loads. So this is what about full load versus incremental load in SSIS. Here we talked about the differences between full load and incremental load. So in the next example, I will show you how to do the full load and how to do the incremental load practically in the SQL Server data tools. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Subscribe.